So about coming up to four years this August, I <coughs> made the change. Uh, so I got diagnosed with cancer, uh, testicular cancer, um, and obviously they, they there's uh, no pressure by the way. No, 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 no that's fine. You like, yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, I'm I'm open about yeah, it yeah. anyway. I thought uh, you were. I thought it's just a good thing to yeah, kind of keep, you know. Yeah. So. Um, obviously had the, the surgery, had all the tests and everything like that. And then um, uh, the oncologist came in, spoke to me and said, look, we, we, you need to have chemo because it, the, it, it, it went to stage uh, two, I think it is, when it spreads. So it spread to my lymph nodes in my stomach and they were like, you, you're gonna have to have three months of chemo. So when I was told that news, I was like, right, I need to make some real big changes to um, my lifestyle, uh, not just with diet, but with like stress management, how I look after my body with rest um, and also hydration, everything like that. So um, I just thought like I won't leave it to like going to the doctors because all they would say is just take the treatment and and see what happens. So yeah, I was like, yeah. hang on a minute, it's like that can't be it. That I've like I've, I've, yeah, way, yeah. yeah, it's like I've somehow. Uh, put my body under this stress that it's 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 formed this this cancer. So I need to do what I can to help sort of um, heal the body. Uh, so I spoke to so I just I, I spoke to a few friends who who put me in contact with other people who've um, treated their terminal cancer to the point where they're they're cancer free, and all of them that all of them said that they they went vegan. Um, to help with the alkalinity of the body, so they say like the pH of the body is acidic. So yep. once, so from what my knowledge or and my research, they say when the lymphatic system becomes blocked up um, and toxic, the toxicity uh, le leaks leaches into the bloodstream, and once mm -hmm. it's, the, the blood becomes acidic and toxic, that's when form uh, tumors start to form either on organs and around the body because it's the body's uh, uh, defense me mechanism to protect that area yep. of acidity. So if you reverse that acidity by, yep. by raising the pH, yeah, yep. um, basically tumors will shrink, the blood will clean, the lymphatic system will, will start to, to become unblocked and start to, to remove those the toxicity naturally. So that's that's the, the reason why I, I, I done it. Um, it was actually really easy for me to, to make the change because a lot of people were like, oh, was that hard? Did you, is there anything that you missed? Um, I just kept it really simple at the start. I just went, right, I'm just going to eat what I would normally eat, but just take away the meat and dairy. Yeah. yeah. Um, to be fair, like I didn't really, I did, dairy products I didn't really eat much of anyway, but I had a very high like meat content, okay. uh, di meat uh, d um, diet. You were a definite carnivore before yeah. that. Right? Yeah, yeah, meat for breakfast, you know, lunch, <laughs> dinner, <laughs> and then snacks in between. Yeah. So um, I was like, right, just, just take it completely out. Um, and... Uh, um, I noticed straight away that I was like I wasn't feeling like heavy or, or bloated. I, I had more energy. Uh, I uh, I felt like I like my inflammation in my joints from all like the high intensity training that I was doing was yeah. wasn't there anymore. So I was like I used to suffer with tendonitis in both of my knees, um, completely gone. Uh, so I was like, geez, like this is this is this feels good. I feel really good. I, but I wasn't um, the, the the like the fear. That people sort of say, oh yeah, but you're going to lose weight, you're going to lose muscle mass, you're going to lose strength. All the none things of, they tell you. Yeah, yeah, and none of those were happening. Like my actual, my, my weight went up, uh, my strength went up, um, my sleep was loads better as well. Uh, so I was like, oh, I'm going to stick with this, and I gave up coffee as well uh, for for two <laughs> years. And I said this to Steve like yeah. for a few times. I it was the hardest thing to give give up because you know when you wake up in the morning, you smell that coffee. I'm like, oh god, I want that. Or you walk past. Uh, coffee shop and you're like oh, oh my hits. god oh my god but um, I've introduced that back into my diet but yeah th that's the reason why um, I went vegan and uh, and that's the way yeah, yeah and, and that's the thing I I, it, it, I, I I feel I'm just going on how I feel yeah uh, and uh, and going on my health and I, I, I'm I've never felt healthier so that's why I've decided to stay um, this way. Uh, but I'm not one of those pushy vegans, so don't worry, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm not going to push it onto you. Well, no, uh, I mean, I mean, thank you for sharing that because yeah, that's nice. that's a big thing to yeah, share. But yeah, no, that's um, yeah, that's, that's amazing. I just think it's. I mean, I'd kind of you know, 
I knew a little bit of that because obviously my wife yeah knows your now wife anyway so but I knew like a little bit you said of I was the, like <laughs> a little yeah. bit of the backstory but obviously yeah I just thought uh, that was amazing and most of the time when you I don't know most of the time in this industry sadly when you talk to somebody uh, who's gone through a big nutritional change mm. there's normally a crummy reason behind mm. the nutritional mm. change so actually it's really good to chat to somebody and go do you know what like zero judgment just we, we know this is your nutritional approach but what's yeah. the rationale and actually that is the <clears> best reason you're no one's ever gonna have a better reason than that mm. and more importantly you're still doing it because you're feeling great on it yeah. so amazing it's just nice to hear that rather yeah. than when you see, it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's keto or the carnival diet or, or, or the warrior diet or you know bulletproof coffee, whatever. And when you ask them an opinion, normally it's like, well, I do it because my mate does it. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, actually, the fact that you've actually done your own due diligence, mm. got your own rationale behind it, that's amazing. It's working. Are you still things. playing rugby when you find out about the cancer? Yeah. So I just left Gloucester, joined London Irish, um, <laughs> and uh, like I, I sort of knew for about three months there was something not quite right with me with myself so like energy levels are quite low fatigue uh feeling fatigue quite a lot um but when it came to like training and stuff like that fine 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 was that more of a mental thing because you mentally geared for yeah yeah it's that as well but but i it was whenever like i came to like stop uh and i got um and then uh like the week before i went and finally seen someone like I like I felt like a like um, a real sharp like stiffness through my hip flexor so I thought oh. Oh, it's just because I've been driving from commuting from Gloucester to to um, London yeah. training and stuff like that that it's just a driving at my hip flex mm. so I was like stretching it's like but it's going like from my hip flexor down to like my like the front of my um, like groin, groin yeah. yeah and I was just like oh, this doesn't feel too good and then it went from there around my back as well oh, wow. And I was like, "This is weird." Mm. And then, um, but then I was like coughing up blood. Well, like, I've then you know, something's not right. Yeah, I was like, something's like not right <clears> within, <throat> with, uh, with you know, from the inside. Mm. Um, but like it was, but, but because of obviously it was a tumor on, on my testicle, like my hormone levels were all over the yeah. place. So I had like these big blood spots on my forearm, which I thought were weird, and and yeah. but but I put on like seven kilos, but I was lean with it, and I was like, okay. I used this, you know, I was like, what is going on? You know, this is great. This is great. so you like I'm looking at myself, I'm like I'm feeling really good, I'm feeling really strong, I'm feeling really fit, but yeah. when I stop, I'm like, Tee. yeah, um, and then yeah, like I, all of these like symptoms were coming up, and I'm like, I'm getting a bit worried here, I'm getting mm. a bit worried, uh, and then I like I felt like, like from that pain. I was in bed and I was like, I felt like a lump and I was like, shit, like that feels like something that should not be there. Yeah. This is really concerning. And it, like the, the testing was feeling quite like throbbing a bit. Yeah. And then the next day, like the tumour started to, I could feel it like getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, wow. And then like just being a bloke, I'm like, oh, I've probably just taken it like a knock and train and tried to play yeah. it down yeah. in my head. And then uh, we played a friendly, so I let it go for like a week. Which is stupid of me. And then we had a g- game on the Friday, a, a, a preseason game. It was my first game for to, to sort of impress. Mm. So played in the game, completely fine. And I was like, I don't, I, I don't know how I got through it because my testicle was like the size yeah. of, of a like a, a tennis ball. Yeah, it, it, it like swelled right up. Um, yeah, I but I played, I played the game. <laughs> I played the game, and then like we all huddled around, like quick debrief. And like I just had to run straight into the, the change rooms because I thought it was going to be sick. So I ran into change rooms. I like sat on the bench and I'm like, fuck it, I need to go see the doctor. Cause we have like every team will have a team doctor that's at every game. So got showered, um, got changed, went straight to the physio room, and I uh, got the doc. And I was like, look, mate, I, I need there's something not right with me. This is like, I've been feeling like there's something wrong for the last couple of months um, and my testicle is like rock solid and he te- like obviously did the checks mm. and he just he, he was just honest with me he's like look we need to get this seen to like as soon as possible so um, drove from uh, the London Irish training ground back to Gloucester I rang my GP uh, who used to be a, a doctor for, for Gloucester on match day and um, uh, I was like, Julian, I've like 
would think I might have mm. something seriously wrong with my... And he's like, come and see me first thing in the morning. So I, went, I drove to his house the next oh. morning <laughs> and he was the same. He's like, yeah. he's like, this is concerning. He's like, I've got, I'm just going to be honest with you, this is very concerning. Mm. Uh, and then Monday test, Tuesday confirmed. You got diagnosis that quick? Yeah, well, so they did, yeah, they, did, they, did, yeah, they, they did all my bloods. Uh, they did bloods, uh, ultrasound, and then um, confirmed it on Tuesday. And then I was back in again on Wednesday for CT. Um, surgery on Friday. Oh, wow. After, uh, just before the surgery on, yeah, just before the surgery on the Friday, they told me about it, like, spread to my lymph nodes. Um, and uh, and that, that, that that's where like I like because I have my partner with me, mm. Rogan, and I was like, and she was like, very obviously panic station. Was, like, so what very was your upset. mindset? Were you worried? I was you, like, I like I knew there was something wrong with me, so yeah. I was pretty like. You know the doctors is, were like, you were right about this, and I'm like, well, at least I. The, the, the good thing is, is that I know this. Yeah. Now, oh. now I know this. Like, now I can do something about it. Yeah. yeah. So I'm always like. I think it's just the rugby mentality. It's like right, you, you get in, like you get injured, right? How the process is, right? Surgery, yeah. and then and then do everything yeah. right to get back. Yeah. And then that's that is sort of the mindset I had. It's like I've known that I've known for a while now. There's something not right with me. Mm. Um, now it's t- it's time to like to like look at my lifestyle. And I was like, Fuck, you know, I'm eating loads of processed shit, taking all of these supplements. I'm probably way over caffeinated. I'm stress stress levels are through the roof. Mm. I'm not sleeping enough, and it's just like I need to just stop all of this shit. I need to yeah. get rid of stop all of this stuff. That's that's making like putting stress on the body. It's making me ill, uh, and start putting stuff in place to to start healing myself from mm. the inside out. Um, and I've got like quite a stubborn like mentality as well. So if I'm going to do something. A certain way, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to it and and and, and buy into it and, and do it my way. Mm. Um, so the, the doctors were like, "Are you all right? You, you know, we have people. When we get this news, we have yeah. people obviously breaking down." And, and I was just like, "I was like, okay, like yeah, it's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I I, 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 like, I was just glad that I knew that. Was I like knew the result- mind that you knew. What yeah, was. I knew. The thing is, like, I knew there was something wrong. Yeah. But to be have that confirmed, now you can hit, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, right now. How am I going to take power back? Yeah. So how am I going to, going to take control of this? Because I don't want to put my I don't want to put all of, all of my uh, trust into these doctors that are just going to address it with surgery and drugs. Chemicals, yeah. Because it doesn't address the root cause. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like, right, I need to I need to seriously look at myself. Um, I seriously need to like to to sort my my lifestyle out um, to heal my body. Mm. Um, and, that, and that's what I did. I was just like, right, I'm going to take control. I'm going to take that power back. And that's why, like, I, I, I took that. And uh, with all my family living down in Cornwall, mm. I said the same things to them. I was like, don't worry about me. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't, I was like, you don't need to come up and see me every week. I was like, just let me get on Back with this, on. with, with yeah. the way I'm going to do it, and I'll be fine. Yeah, funny enough, I've, I've heard similar from like, other professional sports people that that mentality seems to be prevalent. Uh, I think you needed to get to, to be a professional anyway. If you want to get to a certain high level, you need that mentality of that's my goal. I'm going after it. Mm. I don't care what what obstacles in my way. Yeah. I'm going to just smash them. Yeah, and like for me, it, I, nobody questioned me about it. They just no. and that's I think that's what what helped the most as well. Like the just support, like on, yeah, the support group was like, yeah, you got. Juki, you got you do it the way you've got to do it yeah. because no one else is in my yeah. shoes. I, I'm the one. Yes, yeah. It's my battle. It's my fight, and all I want is support. Yeah, yeah. So and did the, your team, the, team, family, yeah. friends. Um, but the one person who 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 was like, don't do that. Don't worry about it. Was the oncologist. No right. So me and him fell out. Well, no. like, Said uh, what? Uh, don't go vegan. He was like, don't worry about it. He's like just. Just, just take the, just, just take the, just, just ha- uh, take the, the chemo. take the chemo, yeah. and then and see if that works. Yes. And I just went, no way. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, what? I was like, what? you know, I was like, surely I need to detox my body. I've got all these yeah. toxins wow. and yeah. shit in my body. Mm. I need to just, I need to get rid of it. I need to remove it from the body, and then the healing process can start. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, I won't get into to no, too much. But, but 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 the mm-hmm. main thing is, did is you that, turn to him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could have done. Yeah. If I see if I see him out in the street, I yeah. struggle to rein it in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing. Like the main thing was like my support group. Yeah. Um, was amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, th- th- and those people like got me through it. You know, yeah, the, the cool. club, I, London Irish at the time, superb, yeah. brilliant, really good. Nick Kennedy was the DR at the time, uh, ringing me every week, messaging me every week, wow. you know, making sure that I was all right. And it's, mm. it's difficult because I like, because I signed for them so late, I was commuting from Gloucester to, mm. to, to London. So I was back over here, the, the team were all the way over mm. there. So I didn't, it was really, it was tough because I, I wanted to be a part of the team, but yeah. because I was going through my... I was like, I can't even go into the, I can't even go into the club and do a little bit of training when I feel good and stuff mm. like that. I was doing all my own training as well. Mm. Did your uh, training change? So? Did your training change when you were training? Yeah, I d- so the chemo, it fucks you up. Yeah. So like energy level, strength level. So I would, I would literally go in and train for like twenty minutes, and that was it. You know, right. just try and do what I can. Yeah. Get in, get out. Um, a lot of like walking and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, especially after like my big cycles, I would be wiped out for like three, four days, yeah, and, then, and then and then and then it would slowly come. When I slowly come out of that funk, I would like right, I feel alright, and I would just do body weight training with the TRX and stuff like that, mm. and then and then build the weights back into it. But it was crazy in that three months of of treatment. I was like a sh- at, right at the end. I was like a shadow of my like former yeah. self. Um, <clears throat> so it was a, a, it's a bit like where you died for body weight, isn't it? Not same but you kind of like the soul nothing left yeah yeah no it makes it sound real it's, it's, you, not, it's not the same as that you, that you fall <laughs> off, but yeah, yeah. No, like massive massive respect for everyone that listens to this or think the same like, you know yeah the fact that you did it mm. it's amazing obviously you know testament to yeah. to like you say the support network and those people yeah. that stepped up and they step mm. up to be there with you and kind of you yeah. know well like since since like it's happened to me there's been Jeez, a handful of, of other pro rugby players who've, who've you know had the bad news, um, but all of them have contacted me. So it's, like, nice, it's been it? nice that I can go look. This is how I done it. Mm, yeah. You know, treat it as though it's a, like a long term injury, mm. um, and uh, but just be focused on, on on getting yourself better. And I'd send out all send out all of my information that I what from what I did, and I was like, look. Everybody's different, you know. Every yeah. like I, I had a physio who would say he wouldn't treat the injury; he'd, he'd treat the player who's injured. If you know what I mean, because yeah, every player yeah. will, mm. will, will will react differently to an injury. Mm. So it's the same thing with the illness. I was like, look, here's the information that I I I uh, used. used. Um, it's your there. Start point. Yeah, yeah. Like, use what you feel is going to work for you. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to tell you to go vegan or cut meat completely out your diet or whatever you know um, it's like you've got to do what you feel is right for you Mm. Um, and a lot of it is like a lot of them that take away like the mindset thing is like doing stuff like to keep their mind off off the shit that they're going through and and just trying to stay like positive and focused like mindset is definitely I always put it right at the top mindset is key because the mindset will get you through it Mm -hmm. um because if you've got that negative mindset and that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like straight away you're, kind of thing, yeah, yeah, straight away you're 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 you're, you're going backwards lost. rather than forward. So, um, but yeah, it's it's you know in in a way like I I feel like yeah that sh- that that shit happened to me nearly four years ago, but I can use that experience to help others and and help educate others as well and. Um, and uh, you know, and be uh, like someone. You know, if someone wants to, wants to needs to support, they can. Like, I always say, look, here's my number, here's my information. Just give me if you want to. Just in the middle of the night, you want to just drop me a text, drop me a text. I say, yeah. or if you want to vent, give me a call. Or if you want to ask me questions, I like, don't hesitate. Just give me a give me a bell, and uh, we can have a chat about things. Mm. So it's, it's nice that I can um, use my shit experience for for something positive. positive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it must be good for them to know that. You've been through it. You know yeah. what's going to happen. You know what there is light experience. on the other side, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. 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 And like, I find that, we're, we're, especially with the rugby boys, we're all cut from the same cloth. Yeah, we're all the, the, alpha, the, alpha males yeah. as well for starters. We're all stubborn. No one wants to ask. Yeah. We're all but. we're all stubborn, but then mm-hmm. we have that like quite 
that we had that mental resilience to go right. Yeah, it's going to be fucking tough. Yeah. But I'm going to stay positive. I'm going to stay strong for not just for, for myself, but for my family and my friends mm-hmm. and that support group. Because everybody's like, everybody around you, they they want to break down and cry, but you're like, you're the one who's staying strong for yeah. them. If you don't, yeah, don't yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. you're like, don't worry about it. Don't worry yeah. about it. Don't stress. Yeah, don't stress. This, yeah. I don't want to see. Yeah, like I would, I'd be saying to like my family, like the last thing I want to see is people getting upset around me. Because yeah. I just don't want to be around you if you're bit, if you're yeah. if you're crying and being upset. I don't want to be around you. Yeah. So like, just take the piss out of me. My dad, yeah. my dad called me Uncle Vesto because like, when I lost all my hair, <laughs> lost, you know. And it's, and that's the thing is like, I'd rather have someone give me some banter, yeah. give me some shit, you know. Yeah. Have a laugh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we get called Uncle Vesto all the time. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, say, I shave on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I have got hair, honest. <laughs> It's an afro, isn't it? When it grows out, it's curly afro. Oh, it, it goes, it's curtains, proper curtains. <laughs> yeah, strong curtains. Yeah. Uh, amazing. Yeah, so like I say, thank yeah, you for sharing man. that, because that's, yeah, that's a very useful story for a lot of people to hear. Yeah. And that's, um, yeah, it's yeah. cool, isn't it? Like you say, it gave you what you needed to, and you've used it, and you're still using it, and now you're in an industry, you've never been happier. It's good. It's a really good success story, mate. So.